up, folks? Welcome to the new low, week four. Uh, I'm MC Graham. I'm King Kobe. I'm Adam. And uh, this week we're just going to kind of, you know, we're not feeling 100%. Uh, well, these two are sick, and I never feel well. I feel so like, I feel like about two dollars and fifty cents right now, Graham. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's me, but just plus tax. So, 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 what have you done this week, Adam? You know, in your in your compromise state. Oh my god, uh, a lot of soup. Yeah, uh, a couple bananas, mm-hmm. um, some Chinese food for some comfort, and crying. Been, oh my god, dude, it, it was weeping. insane. <laughs> Hard just, weeping. Like a lot of rom coms. Like I didn't know, like. Steve Carell could be just so powerful in the movie Crazy Stupid Love. It was insane. <laughs> but I, basically, I haven't left the house in about two and a half days. Nice. Uh, on the topic of sickness, uh, that's just a definitive sign that the seasons are changing. Fall is here. Do you guys have any opinions about fall? I don't get out much, so the weather is all pretty much the same to me. Yeah, I think fall is all right, I guess. Yeah. I have an opinion about fall. Yeah. Fuck fall. <laughs> you don't like fall? I hate fall. Why not? Why? What did fall do to you? It's just like all the fucking pumpkin shit it's uh, like the, yeah, yeah. the pumpkin beer like kobe we saw a sign like on the bar like on the way here pumpkin beer pumpkin lattes pumpkin pie pumpkin spice fuck pumpkin fuck fall pumpkin I shit know. Are we gonna have kobe things are different than they used to be are they yeah there used to be tons of indians here probably i guess they had some things they did with pumpkins that were pretty cool probably better than the current pumpkin <laughs> the current crop of <laughs> pumpkin based products and uh and now they're gone and we have a whole holiday that's well, they're actually not gone i mean they still live here on reservations well i know i never see them so well nobody does <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no you're talking about columbus day right yeah yeah, yeah. that's you know, yeah we have a whole holiday centered on uh us showing up and dispossessing them you know i'm a little sick of that too because first of all, I didn't personally show up in 1492 or whenever Columbus showed up. Right. Okay. And second of all, I went to American public schools. They taught me that Columbus wasn't the first person to discover America. Okay. The Vikings uh, discovered it beforehand. Also, Indians have been living here for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned that they were kicked off their land and in some cases exterminated and uh, uh, caught many illnesses from the Europeans and a lot of them fucking died. Right? Right. Yet every year on Facebook... <laughs> Some woman usually <laughs> just has to put a post up that says, hey, everything you know about Columbus Day is wrong. And no, it isn't. I, I know all that. Like, I know the genocide happened. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me, to be honest with you. I'm over it. That was a long time ago. You know? um, and I don't feel the least bit bad about it. Right. Not only did I not do it, right. Right, even if Europeans did it, that's okay. <laughs> you know? Well, because the history of the world is the history of people showing up and kicking other people off their fucking land. Right. Um, you, well, when uh, Westerners showed up here, uh, a lot of the natives died just from exposure to diseases that they weren't familiar with. Yeah, most Be- of them. Yeah, because we were living in shit the entire time over in Europe. Like, literally all our water sources were completely stagnant. <laughs> uh <laughs> pools of human waste that we drank directly from for many many years and the ones that survived that petri dish came over here and the people just caught whatever they had and fucking dropped dead and we took this you know as a sign of our favor but it was i mean it wasn't really our fault we didn't know what germs were uh it just sort of happened um and now we do, and they're infecting me and Adam at record rates. Yeah. <laughs> so, Adam, you work in pharmaceuticals. Like, how does this, how's this handled, to, you know, today? What's well, going on? flu vaccinations, of course. It's uh, advertised everywhere. Everybody mm-hmm. should get a flu shot. Not everybody does. Uh, I actually haven't, even though I work in pharmacy. I mean, should everybody? Should everybody? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, if you're allergic to eggs, do not get a flu shot. I know, but 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 what I'm saying, okay, so you work in an industry where you advertise that everyone should get a flu shot, right? You yourself have not gotten a flu shot, correct? And you don't think everyone should get flu shots? You no, know, because it's 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 interesting to me because one, like I have no opinions about a flu shot, just mm-hmm. my own personal opinions. Right. Um, I just don't want a flu shot because I'm a risk taker. Okay. Uh, that's that's you're living the, on the edge. I'm living on the edge you're... by not getting a dead virus, you know, implanted into me. I guess. So you're you're a dangerous sort of man. Is that? I'm is a that wild you're... one. Yeah. You know? I think Rihanna said that. <laughs> But um, Ouch. what are the points on the package for these for these for when, when you're slinging this sort of the stuff? yellow tops? Or? Yeah, yeah, the red caps. I think the that's, caps I, I think that's the okay. industry term. The regular fluverine that our retail cost is thirty dollars. It's three zero zero zero. Um, what we stand to make yeah. on each individual flu shot, um, 
it's pretty insane in my opinion. Yeah. It's about twenty dollars or so. Wow. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, give or take. In a bottle of five mLs, uh, a half of an mL is mm-hmm. a flu shot. Right. All right. So if you have a bottle of five mLs, you would think it's about ten flu shots. It's yeah. actually, in actuality, it's about nine. Okay. So even if you call it twenty dollars, it's one hundred eighty dollars right there. Yeah. So an entire box, which is um, ten mLs, so ten times ten, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah. So on one vial. <laughs> you're turning around and you're making it's hun- insane hundred, yeah. hun- hundreds of dollars so do you think Absolutely. it's all um, I gotta ask is there a is there a pumpkin spice uh, flu shot <laughs> oh my fucking <laughs> god <laughs> alright fuck pu- fuck fall flu shots <laughs> fuck fall pumpkin spice shit you know just fuck fall <laughs> Ram there is one topic I really want to talk to you about what's that it's about this jumper <laughs> the jumper yeah the jumper like you mean that Austrian? Well, he um. This he, guy. Felix Baumgartner. Red Bull gave him wings, and then he <laughs> took that up into space and then jumped back down again. Yeah, that's why I'm jealous, though. I mean, he was able to go in to the cold. Yeah. Like into the dark. Yeah, that was actually that was my favorite part. If you guys will need to check out the video, but like when he's up at the top and he's looking around, like you can see he's just literally in fucking. Like, you can see the atmosphere, and then there's space. That's what it's insane. And this was all put together by Red Bull, the soft drink company. Right. Oh, and that's, that's for my $4 I spend on every ounce of Red Bull, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I, I, lo- I like the taste of Red Bull. Whenever I see it, I'm like, I can't I can't justify spending $4 on a fucking so soda. So <laughs> I actually helped Felix Baumgartner by drinking bubblegum bombs yes. at the local y- bar. Yes, every time you mix, what is it, vodka and Red Bull and what else? Uh, it's flavored vodka yeah. and Red Bull. Yeah, Sugar you had, free Red Bull. You put him into space. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel like you, you know, you've really like... Oh, I felt great, right. you know. Like even before, like he jumped out of space, well, well, but... Well, 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 well here's, here's something that's kind of funny. All right, so when, you, so when you're getting fucking wasted, right, just fucking drunk, you know, just, just on a work night, and you're drinking yes. these bubble yeah, like, you're just confirming that this is true. Uh, on a, you know, and you're drinking these bubblegum bombs and you know, making outlandish claims about yourself and your sexual prowess or whatever it is you do when you're drunk. Um, you're actually were it's quite the opposite. I usually just sit in the dark corner <laughs> yeah. and uh, drink my bomb alone because no one is cheersing me. Yeah. and um, I feel pretty good after the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but you're being more productive than the money that's taken out with your taxes because think oh, about it, think about it your red bull money took a dude into space where he jumped back down to the earth that's awesome what are your what do your tax dollars go to fucking blowing someone up in the middle east with a predator drone i didn't authorize that no one no obama authorized that <laughs> authorized no one asked memory. me if like if that's what i really wanted yeah you know, if they asked me i would say do i have a choice they would say no it's like well i i don't I don't want that. Yeah. They would say, no, fuck you, Adam, we're doing this. It's like, okay, fine. Well, then I should go buy another Red Bull right. to forget about it. Exactly. No, and it's like... And then it's, help that guy, Felix Baumgartner. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like, it's like uh, we pay a tax rate that's very comparable to other countries. Uh, we just don't have a fucking damn thing to show for it. You know what I mean? We have... Uh, roads suck. Roads suck. Uh, predator drones blowing people up. Some of them American citizens. We have... Uh, I have to pay for school. I just out of my own fucking pocket. Um, what the fuck is I, that? I have to pay for health care. Uh-huh. Yeah, what out of my own pocket. You're going to be forced to, actually. Yeah. Wow. You're going to be forced to buy private insurance, and instead we could be uh, building a fucking space elevator. That would be great. We could be just fucking sitting here. Like, just don't do it. Just yeah. not touching anything is preferable. If they just took my money and just set it on fire, <laughs> yeah, just I'd just probably just prefer gas it and lit it on fire. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a poem about autumn by an Austrian dude. So it's called Fall Day, and it's by Rainer Maria Rilke. Lord, it is time. This was a very big summer. Lay your shadows over the sundial and let the winds loose on the fields. Command the last fruits to be full. Give them two more sunny days. Urge them onto fulfillment and throw the last sweetness into the heavy wine. Who has no house now will never build one. Whoever is alone now will long remain so. Will watch, read, write long letters, and will wander in the streets here and there restlessly when the leaves blow.